Welcome back to another Carrie's Corner. Today I want to talk to you about the C-suite and their use of social media. There are many, many studies about CEOs, CMOs, COOs, and their use of Twitter. In fact, you can find them all over the place. How many of the Fortune 500 CEOs use Twitter, and should they or shouldn't they? I actually am going to tell you that I think these studies are missing the boat. We should be looking at, is the C-suite using LinkedIn? And here's why. With their recently adapted publisher platform, you have the opportunity to craft a message and put it out from you for your entire organization and have it really travel. One of the best examples of this was from Levi and Strauss's CEO, who recently put out the Dirty Jean Manifesto on his LinkedIn profile, saying that you should never, ever wash your jeans. It was actually a brilliant use of the LinkedIn publisher platform because it was able to give his voice a voice, do it in a way that he doesn't have to keep up this massive social media presence, and be able to really make a statement on behalf of the company as a leader of the organization. And so I would encourage you to look at the exact same thing. Are you publishing your own manifestos, your own thoughts, your own feelings on the LinkedIn publisher platform? If not, you should be. The other month I went to Sarah Bareilles' concert and I actually picked up this t-shirt and it said Brave, which linked back to her song Brave. I remember thinking that Sarah was so brilliant in tying in the theme of bravery. In